So let us now focus on the alkanes. Alkanes, if we look at the number of carbons and hydrogens, it has the general formula of CnH2n plus 2. And then this n here, it represents the number of carbons. So if you've got one carbon there, we'll have one, uh, 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2, which will give us 4. So one carbon and four hydrogens. You remember we, uh, from the example that we drew that uh, one carbon has four hydrogens around it. One carbon with uh, four bonds of hydrogens. All right. So that is uh, the structure for methane. All right. So this general formula helps you to, 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 to predict the name of the compound by just looking at the number of carbons. That, okay, this number of carbons, I'll have so many number of hydrogens. And then, uh, let's say you've got five carbons. For five carbons, here you have two multiplied by five plus two, which will give you 12. So five carbons and 12 hydrogens, and the name there will be pentane. That is the general formula. And then the functional group here, we say the alkane contain only the carbon and the hydrogen because we are referring to it as the hydrocarbon. So the hydrocarbon, we said that is the compound that contains only the carbon and the hydrogen atoms. So we also have uh, between two carbons, you'll have single bonds between two carbons. And then these are saturated compounds. Remember, we said saturated compounds, we, those are the compounds where you, own, you do not have multiple bonds. By multiple bonds, what we, do we mean? We mean there, there are no double bonds or triple bonds. So that, those are your, your multiple bonds. Uh, we only have single bonds between uh, carbons, and then it, you only have hydrogen and carbon in the compound. So uh, that is the hydrocarbon. So when you look at the alkane, there are rules that we have to use to name the compounds. And we've got three steps that you have to follow when you name this compound. The first step is you must name the parent of the hydrocarbon. And how do you do that? You look at your chain or look at the whole compound. You must determine which one is your longest chain. If you've got two uh, chains of the same length, you can uh, choose from either side, it's still okay. The name will still be okay. And then some of these compounds have what we call substituents. And what do you mean by substituent? A substituent, uh, let me just show you here by drawing. If we have a compound like this one, you remember the, the, when we to, we're talking about uh, the isotope, we had a structure like the one that I'm drawing there. The hydrogens, hydrogens, and then here we had another carbon with three hydrogens. So we're referring to this, the one that is connected to the one with the long chain. This uh, part here, we call it substituent. Sometimes they refer to it as a branch, a branch or a substituent. So we say you, you must check on the, the, I mean, you must look at the compound and check which one will form a long chain. How many carbons are in the long chain? And the number of carbons will determine the parent name. And then from there, you check your, sub, your substituent. All right? Step number two, after identifying your substituent, you must number the carbons that are in the parent name. So how do you number them? Uh, you must number them from left to right and also from right to left. Because some, this will help you to check which numbering is correct. You'll see when you do the example, what do I mean? And then, uh, if you've got two substituents of equal length f uh, 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 from, from both sides, you don't need to worry about which side you choose. Because if you've got, for an example, if you, we have five uh, carbons in our long chain, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then we put our substituent at carbon number three there. 
So it doesn't matter whether I start counting from this side, one, two, three, four, five, or I start counting from this, from my right hand side, one, two, three, four, five. My substituent it is still at carbon number three. It doesn't matter which side I, I, I take. So that is what they mean there. Okay?